Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your singles love reading for Gemini. You'll see I have the sun here for new beginnings and new love connections, new love prospects, clarity. Who's interested in you, Gemini? Who's interested in you? Clear messages for Gemini. Did we get one? Oh, it flipped all the way over. Gemini. Gemini, there we go, ah, going off on a new path, somebody compatible, teamwork, some of you are creating something or you're ready for a new path with somebody more compatible, you could have a new person who sees you this way, that one's good, yeah, you got someone that might be a little shy, they want to reach out, <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, yeah, you might not be interested, <laughs> Yeah, you want somebody compatible. You may have someone here who's coming a little shy, or they could be just someone who's a little worried that you'll reject them, but it could be someone who's afraid to miss an opportunity. So they're going to offer you something, okay? Want to go for a drink, a cup of coffee, you know? You might not be sure, though. It may not be what you want or who you want. Yeah, I feel there's this... Yeah, you got a few people around you. You may be weighing the pros and the cons between two. Look at that. Yeah, I feel as though there's something here. Definitely an energy of change. Changing your mind. You're looking at the details. You're weighing the pros and the cons, making a decision, or somebody else is. I see a Taurus, a Virgo, Capricorn energy. Could be somebody you worked with, okay? You definitely want, like, there's something here. Like, there's this up and down energy, back and forth. You may not be sure. Uh, but I feel as almost like you're, maybe it's yourself feeling if you don't, maybe just go for a coffee, do something, kind of see where things go, see if it can be successful. You know, it's kind of going with the flow, like it's time for change, but you might be kind of back and forth about this. I kind of feel like it's you, but it really could be them. Flip it how you wish. I see the tower here. Yeah, taming the beast. So I feel like there's someone here who, I think you got someone who maybe doesn't lack the confidence and the strength. You want somebody st stronger, somebody who knows what they want. I feel like this is someone who's a little shy. But I actually feel this person could change. You may think, you know, maybe over time this person will become more confident. Because I feel like this, this could be somebody you worked with. Like you want somebody who puts the work in, someone who's not afraid to do that. I feel you may have two people. You might be weighing the pros and the cons between two or you have somebody who maybe thinks you are and they're kind of tossing ideas back and forth. But this tower is where this person gets that sudden burst of strength to come in and put some effort into this. This is what you want. So we'll see where this is taking you, Gemini. Interesting read. Okay, Three of Pentacles. Why is this here? Gemini. I think this person might be afraid to, you know, be rejected. And you may. You might find them not strong enough. You want somebody who's more confident. Somebody who puts in a lot of work and effort. Someone, they, you know, they could be someone who's trying to, you know, get into that energy where they're looking at the details. They want to have success, so they kind of maybe have to change the way they come towards you. <laughs> yeah, slow and steady wins the race. You've got somebody who sees you as compatible. They want to go down this path. They want to create something with you. They want to go about things right. They are a little bit slow. Uh, but I feel this is somebody who wants to have success. But I feel like, see, they kind of go back and forth. One minute they feel confident, the next minute they don't. Page of Cups, why is this here? There we go, yeah. So you got someone who's in their head. They're kind of trapped in their head. They're kind of going in circles. They're back and forth. I, I think you got someone here who's a, probably a bit of an overthinker. I don't, maybe it's someone you've rejected before and if they come back, they're afraid or they've rejected you. I don't know. I mean, it could go either way here, but it's a missed opportunity, definitely, because this person, they want to do things right. You know, slow and steady wins the race. They want to have success. Now, this could be like you may have rejected this person because they came in and offered you a cup, maybe sort of had a story or they didn't come on strong enough. I feel like you want somebody stronger. <laughs> You want somebody with more confidence. And I think this is what they're going to do is kind of build that confidence as they go back and forth. You know, they're looking at this. They, they do get it, whoever they are. You know, this is somebody who kind of keeps things to themselves. 
Uh, I feel like, you know, trust your intuition here with this person as well. They see a little Pisces. They may have that kind of energy in their chart, trusting their intuition that you may reject them. But I think this person knows if they don't try again, if that's the situation. Because I kind of feel like they just lack confidence and they, you know, and it could be nothing's even happened yet. And they're just going through these motions in their head. Yeah, they're trying to trust their intuition, you know, they, they're they trying to be wise. I feel that they this person knows everything they need to do. They know what they need to do. It's just finding the confidence. I don't know, they must really like you. Yeah, they kind of hold back. They look at the details. They're kind of feeling a little stuck, but they're not letting go. Like they really want this. They know they need to change. So there is something evolving here as they go through this energy. Yeah, you got someone who's, they are going to gain that confidence. I can feel it building here. Like I feel this person kind of building themselves up as they come towards you going down that path. They might, you know, they may need a little boost. They may need a little boost, you know, like I do feel, I mean, there's somebody who, uh, they, they, you know, they like to do things right. I feel they're very sincere. I don't think you have to really worry, but I think they're shy or they're, you know, lacking the confidence is really what it is so they've been kind of holding back feeling stuck a little bit in protective mode they keep this is someone who keeps things close to their chest they right they keep that close to their chest so if they've been rejected before they are somebody who could be holding on to that it may have absolutely nothing to do with you so this is someone who probably doesn't want to repeat mistakes of their past they know what they need to do so yeah it could be a past person but it Honestly, it feels more like just their energy of gaining that confidence. Yeah, they need to change the way they conduct themselves, the way they behave, some Taurus energy. You want somebody who's faithful. You want someone on the same page, the same path. And I, I feel this person is going to change how they're going to approach you. And it's kind of a little back and forth, you know. They're weighing off the decisions, how to communicate, what to say, how to have that success. They're working on this. They're building themselves up. But they may need a little boost right a little something to boost their confidence but they do want to i do feel their this is their tradition their belief the way they conduct themselves they know they need to change it's keeping them stuck okay and there could be somebody who's a little stubborn too you know they kind of yeah a little bit but it's not always that that case yeah there's the offer yeah so they're going to be weighing it they're going to give it to you they're going to give you something solid they're going to be uh be more solid more reliable have a little more strength come on a little stronger they want this to work this person really does tell me about this you could have a shock and be surprised actually who this is it could be somebody you've worked with before you may be very not even realize that this person has been kind of you know wanting to talk to you wanting to communicate they want it to be successful so they're looking at the pentacle they know they need to come towards you in a specific way and they see you as a faithful person by the way they see you as somebody who they're in your world they're in your energy they're heading your way yeah, so you have, yeah, they're, this person's gaining the confidence. Now, I wonder if it was money, they needed more money. Uh, I see an Aries energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Pisces. That's your Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, earth and, earth, water, a little air. I feel like this person... Uh, somebody who just needs to figure out what they want and once they build themselves up i wonder if they needed to like maybe just save money or hold on to their money to be uh, there, there's something just developing i feel like it's all them uh, i don't see a lot of you here uh, and i feel like suddenly this person's going to come on to you very strong they're gaining that confidence i feel they are an emperor and i feel this person you know they work very hard feel they're very logical very smart now, this is somebody who, once they figure out what they want, they just go for it. And that's what I think is going to happen with this person. Mm -hmm. There's definitely something cooking here. This is something maybe you've been waiting for, or they're just in this energy of, it could be somebody who you've been waiting for. It could come suddenly, but it's like your ships are here. But it could be, I'm going to be honest, for some of you, it's someone you've been kind of sitting there waiting to come around. And you already know who this is. Trust your intuition. You may know who this is. 
It may be too late. I don't know. But I feel as though it's something you're waiting for. You're going to just wait to see how things go. It's going to come sudden. I think your ships are here, to be honest. It looks good. It looks like this is someone you've worked with. Somebody who's they perfected their craft, right? They've been working on themselves, building themselves up. They're going for it. Kind of like it. I mean, this could all happen with somebody in a matter of a day or two, right? It's just the, of the motions, but it gives you a picture of who they are. So I like that they're sincere. I like that they have this emperor energy. They built themselves up. Maybe they've been working hard, focused on money. They could be a self-made person, you know? Maybe there's somebody who hasn't been in a relationship for a while. You know, there may be somebody who wasn't sure they wanted, you know, a commitment or marriage or anything, and they've changed their mind, which is interesting. You could change your mind, too. It's in the middle, okay? You might not have a lot of faith in this person. You may sort of feel like you need to hold back when they come in, but they're offering you something reliable. They're uh, coming in more solid. It's more like a guarantee. Once they make up their mind, they're going for it. So I like this person's energy. Tell me about the strength. Why is this here? Yeah, see, this is, an, yeah, this is somebody who's decided they're not going to give up. They're putting this way in the pros and the cons, this procrastination, being trapped in their head, feeling a little like they're going to get rejected, <laughs> you know. They're going to let that go. They're putting it behind. It's a lot of work. This person's aiming for success. So I feel like whatever it is they're dealing with, they're aiming for this success. Now, this could be someone you're waiting for and you're just about ready to give up on them and then here they come. So it's sort of telling you to be strong and brave and don't give up just yet, okay? Just yet. I wouldn't wait for somebody forever, that's for sure. Never, never sit around waiting for somebody. No, but if this is something that's only been going on a short time and you've been waiting and you're thinking of just letting go because, you know, you need to be strong and brave and let go, but here they are, okay? They're probably going to head your way. This is someone who doesn't give up once they realize what they want. So, yeah, you've been waiting patiently for this person. I feel as though it's like this energy. Look, at, you know, this could take a little time for this person for them to gain that momentum, to build up that courage, to get to know you. Uh, you know, they want to, you know, they're, they are sincere and I like that about them. And I do feel they know what they need to do or they will be rejected. <laughs> All right. They have that inner wisdom and I like that because they probably been rejected before. Maybe you rejected them before. Maybe they felt they missed an opportunity because they were, uh, they might have been trapped in another situation, maybe even another relationship and they're moving away from it. It's I can see that energy where they need to make that decision to get out of a situation that they're not happy in, okay, and head towards you. It could be something that takes a bit of time for that scenario. But yeah, this is somebody who's different than your usual type. I feel as though you're going to just kind of look back, you know, there, there's definitely some chemistry. Uh, I feel this is somebody who, they may not be so sure in, you're invested in them either. Okay, so there could be that, but this is an energy of somebody who looks to see what's right, what's not right if they're balanced. They know they need to come in right. Uh, could be someone you've missed an opportunity with and they're now kind of taking a second look at you because they may have held back giving you an offer. I don't know, maybe they were busy creating something, working on their money. It was a bit of a slow process. Interesting, yeah. So you've got somebody here who's now <laughs> Cancer Pisces. Yeah, you got someone here who's now ready for love. Look at that. Uh, I see a Sag energy here too. You're going to look at this person to see if it's right. They may be different than your usual type, but I, I feel as if you don't give them a... Be brave and give them an opportunity. You, you could miss an opportunity. I feel this is somebody who kind of just does things different than your usual type. They have their own way of doing things. They don't follow the status quo is what I feel. So get, yeah, they don't follow the status quo. Look at that. Yeah, they may be leaving, moving away from somebody they were in a commitment with and moving towards you. They're making a choice possibly here. This could be somebody who was a friend and they, you know, they're starting to, they may have fallen in love with you and they want to, you know, kind of move things forward with you. This is someone who kind of doesn't want to let go, but they're also feeling a little stuck, like they need to hold back. But again, it's in the middle. It could be yourself feeling that way, feeling a little protective. Oh, yeah. So there you go, Empress. Oh, my gosh, yeah. They, they see you as an Empress. They actually see you as everything they could want. I feel they, I feel they're going to communicate something with you. 
they see you as a keeper, okay? Uh, so there's definitely, but I do think they are kind of wondering if you're interested. I wonder if they're not sure if you're in another relationship or if you're interested or, you know, there's something to do with something evolving and changing. Sudden change, too, I feel. This person's going to either end something with someone and come towards you just bang because they're just having this, like, I want Gemini and that's it. You know, they make up their mind, I'm going for this. Tell me about the, whoops, I was just going to say, yeah, so there we go. So you got somebody here who's having an epiphany. They need to get out of their head. I feel they want to have success. I do feel they know. I think you got, you may even be just a friend with this person. They see you as faithful and loyal and loving and compassionate, kind, sexy. You have a lot to offer. They may be realizing that. And maybe it's somebody who's a friend and they're falling in love with you. Uh, and maybe you will just be friends first. Wow, this is, I, I see it. there's a few scenarios, but I see this person wanting success uh, and possibly, you know, just kind of taking their time. Someone who's cautious they, about falling in love and going down this path uh, to create something beautiful. I see some emotional fulfillment, success and happiness. They know if they want to be happy and they want love, they know what they need to do. <laughs> They, they, you know, they need to gain that confidence to just come in and take control. Like you, I feel like you want somebody like this. You want that. We have the emperor and the empress here again. This is like, I don't know, like the fifth or sixth reading I've done where we've got people who are connected uh, that are on this path now uh, where it's almost like you're catching up with each other too sometimes. You know, you finally get on the same page, the same path. The timing is right. Maybe you had a situation with someone where the timing wasn't right. They were focused on money. They had a lot of work to do. They might have been working on a project, working on something themselves. Could be a business and the timing wasn't right. And maybe it is now. So it could be someone who's taking another look at you or you could be taking another look at this person. They're definitely in your world. Okay, you could have just worked with this person at some time. They might even been a boss and you're no longer there. Uh, you might have moved on and, you know, that kind of energy. So it's nice. I like it. I do see this moving forward, slow and steady or calmly and peacefully getting to know each other. You're going to get something you want. You're a little cautious, though. I see you uh, holding back and uh, protecting yourself. You, one thing I'm going to tell you right now, you want this person to come towards you like in the right way. You want, and it's not like it has to be perfect. I just, because I don't see that energy, but I see that they know if they don't want to be rejected, they have to come in in the right way. And I see you kind of in this energy of refusing to budge. You want this person to approach you. Uh, if you, you know, because it's like there may have been a lack of faith. But it looks more like they've moved away from one person and they're heading towards you. But there could have been a lack of faith or you're just a faithful friend and it's evolving into something. It, lots of different scenarios. But I see a soulmate connection. I see a couple of soulmates. Um, if you're friends with somebody and you're not aware of it, they are probably falling in love. It's been a slow process, but... Well, they, they're they seeing you as the one. They see you as loving and nurturing, caring, sexy, kind, full of abundance. You have so much to offer that could make them happy. That's that epiphany, the truth that they're seeing within themselves. They need to cut it out. They need to get out of their head and stop feeling like you're going to reject them. I mean, it's possible you have rejected them or you kind of held back and went, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they're right for me or not. I think you might be surprised. Well, you know, you never know. But yeah, I see work. You may have worked with this person. And I feel they probably really held you in high regard. They really liked you. You may have just been friends. They may have been in another relationship they're no longer in now. Hmm. It's, I'm not seeing the sun like it's a new, new person. I feel if you trust your intuition, you're going to know who it is. Tell me about this Pisces energy with the High Priestess. 
Yeah, it's a crush. Yeah, trust. It's somebody you knew a long time ago, maybe even childhood. You might think it's this person. It's possible it's not, but uh, it's somebody, it's a new crush is what I feel. Somebody crushing. If you are crushing on someone and you're not quite sure, just kind of keep it to yourself a bit. Give this person a chance to put in the effort. You may feel like it's like you're, it's like you're kind of refusing to budge until they come in and kind of put the effort in. They need to perfect their craft as well, right? They need to know exactly what they want and that's where I feel they've been working on themselves but I do feel you may have worked with this person lovely energy tell me about the Sun yeah just you're a little cautious take the time to get to know them uh, if they're not right for you you will move away okay but that's that little bit of careful what you wish for they're only gonna offer so much at first I think this person knows it though they've learned from something from their past they're going to do something different they're going to do things different, whoever they are, yeah. So there is this energy of this person coming in. This could actually go somewhere pretty fast. They're coming in probably fairly quickly uh, with the chariot. Some of you are moving away from one person or they are. There could be travel. Um, but yeah, it's moving away, t using all the power they have to control their, si their, their emotions, right? Keeping their emotions in check and coming in to take control they have to come in and take control they got to take charge you want somebody strong you want that strength and i think they're kind of getting it so yeah and it, i mean you may have never rejected them they may be afraid you're going to reject them right so this is somebody who may be a friend and they kind of know you a little bit they know enough about your traditions your belief the way you conduct yourself the way you are so they're working that out how to so i think they probably know a lot of them exactly what they need to do to win you over so this could actually go somewhere <laughs> Yeah, they're moving away from somebody to come towards you to start new. Some of you are the ones that are moving away from someone that you don't have any faith in. So you're ready for change yourself and you have a new offer and you're going to go for it. Okay, uh, you're just going to take the time to get to know them. I do think as you get to know each other, that chemistry is going to grow. Maybe not there at first, you know, because it's starting out as a little bit of a crush. I feel they're going to do really sweet things for you. They're going to put in that effort. Somebody who's had a crush and hasn't been saying anything for a long time. That's what I feel. Yeah. It's, I think you're going to get what you want here. Are you going to be surprised? They certainly know what they want. <laughs> they want their wish fulfillment. They are somebody who might have a little bit of an ego. Okay. But I don't, I don't feel like it's anything over the top. Uh, I feel like you're just a little cautious here, you know. Uh, making sure there's chemistry but I think as you get to know them you're going to grow closer and they're going to be exactly what you want there's that wish fulfillment that one wand that one cup it's very very close okay I think this is something that's going to happen fairly soon if it's not already in the works um, once it starts it's hard to say I don't see a huge amount of slow energy but at some point you're going to uh, kind of hold back and refuse to budge until they come in and like express themselves properly and like really get things going uh, they need to do and say everything uh, properly and, and they do get it so nice all right Gemini I like this energy so you know be on guard prepare yourself if you're unaware of this person who's in your energy your world you may have worked with them uh, in the past uh, they could be just a friend or maybe they were actually married to a friend or had a relationship with somebody you know in the past it could be a childhood friend it really is a lot of scenarios and of course different so i wish you the best bye for now